Hello viewers, welcome back. I really like to thank you for taking interest in my last video vlog, which was related to different types of electrical networks. Our today's vlog is related to a part of electrical network and that is medium voltage network. I hope you are going to get good information about medium voltage network from today's video. In our last vlog, we have learned how power is generated at the power stations, how it is transmitted using the transmission and subtransmission networks, how it reaches the consumer sites using the medium voltage and low voltage networks. When we talk about the transmission and subtransmission networks, these may be complex considering the nature of protection schemes and construction of overhead transmission lines and high voltage substations. However, medium voltage network plays an important role in the whole transmission and distribution scheme because this is the level from where the consumers actually started to consume the power. So now we take a further deep dive to learn about the medium voltage networks. The main purpose of medium voltage network is to transform the power from a subtransmission level which is usually 66 kV or 132 kV to a medium voltage level which is either 6.6 .6 kV or 11 kV or 17.5 kV or usually can go up to a level of 24 kV. As we have learned earlier, for this transformation, power enters in a, sub, in a high voltage substation which can be an indoor or outdoor type. This is one of the example of 132 kV substation. After passing through different electrical components such as high voltage circuit breaker, CTPT and surge arresters, power enters into a step down transformer which reduces it from a level of say 132 kV to 11 kV. From transformer, 11 kV power enters into a 11 kV switchboard which is located in a, sub in a switchboard room inside a high voltage substation. To have further clear understanding, we can take help from, from a power SLD. This is same of what we have discussed earlier. Power flow is from high voltage circuit breaker to a step down power transformer from where it enters to the incoming circuit breaker of the 11 kV switchboard and then is distributed to a consumer sites using the 11 kV outgoing circuit breaker which are shown in the lineup here. When the power leaves the 11 kV outgoing circuit breaker of the switchboard, there are two ways of distribution either using the overhead distribution lines or using the underground cables. First, we take the example of overhead line. Cable from 11 kV switchboard reaches the 11 kV pole structure and is terminated into the overhead conductor for further distribution. In case of distribution using the underground cable, we can take the example of kiosk substation. Power enters and leaves using the underground cable. This scheme can be a bit different for industrial sites having their own generation at medium voltage levels. A medium voltage generator typically looks like the one in the picture. In this scheme, power from 11 kV generator goes directly to the incoming circuit breaker of 11 kV switchboard. Since no voltage transformation is required in this scheme, therefore we eliminate a step down transformer here. However, it is important to mention that using diesel generators is usually expensive as compared to import power from national grid. At industrial, site, at industrial sites, power is usually distributed using the underground cables. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the medium voltage power distribution. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the update about the latest videos posted at the channel. Thank you.